Hello dear Jinky and friends. This is a video showing you how to use a spell slinger. So before we begin, uh, basically under assault I have quick draw, charge shot, which I don't really use that much, and wild barrage at this point. There will be a lot of people who will tell you to use other things, but this is just what I'm using right now. I'm comfortable with it. This is the whole point. You're supposed to learn to build your own spec, not to go buy other people's spec. Under support I have... Uh, Astral Infusion, which is a really nice heal, does like a thousand plus healing, uh, which is good for your old crap moments, or just, you know, an extra top off so you can keep fighting mob to mob, and it has like a 30 second cooldown or so. Under Utility, I have Gate, which is the one that you would have probably used quite a bit, it lets you go forward and stun the mobs. I have Flash Freeze, which is a snare and does eh, a bit of decent damage, and then I have Void Slip. Void Slip itself is really nice. It actually lets you go into the shadows, drops all your CC effects, everything else, and basically you can get out of there and it's like an oh shit button. And then, you know, path, that doesn't really matter. Amps right now are over all over the place only because I haven't been able to find and get any of these amps here. This is a bad thing. This is a derp on my part and as well as uh, me not really caring at this point. I should be focusing on getting one or two of these amps in here. Uh, but what normally people will tell you to do is increase your assault power is one of the first things you should do. So you can put three points into that. The next one people will tell you usually to do is critical hit chance. Which, you know, three of those is 6% more uh, hit chance. And three of these would give you, I think, about 7.5% more assault power. Which is, that's good. I mean, all that adds up, right? 6% uh, crit chance is quite a huge, you know, amount. And then one of these will probably actually give me even a crappier amount of, not crappy, but insane amount of crit chance maybe in there. I'm not sure. I haven't looked. But, I mean, you can see, like, this one. Loading a crit hit generates six spell power can only occur every six seconds, for example. Or, using quick draw reduces your cooldown by 0 0.5 seconds. Like, your cooldowns will be cut from 0 0.5 seconds by using quick draw. That seems pretty ridiculous. That means if you keep spamming this, and then your things like Wild Barrage that has a 14 second cooldown will end up being cooled down quite a bit. So, when we put this in practice, one of the first things you probably will do is spell search. Now, if you feel comfortable on doing whatever, you can use uh, the charge shot for like a good starter one. And you hold it down, actually mine is hold it down for you since you set it up, it's set up by default, you just click it. And then you can let it go and it'll actually do quite a bit of damage. I don't know if I just screwed up that though, because I held it down so long. But there you go. As you can see, I just own that guy in two seconds. These guys are level 14. I'm level 16. But I'm sure even, you know, you notice it's a little hard with these kind of mobs. Um, so what do I usually do? I probably just do this usually. I go in, I do my, you know, barrage shot. And then I usually most of the time just dodge and take them down with just my basic uh, quick draw. Um, and even if I don't even use any of these, uh, if I don't even use spell surge, I mean, I usually do pretty good. So let's uh, let's let's give this a try here for you, because you're having difficulty, and I want to show you what it's like to kill a bunch of guys at once. So you can see, you know, being mobile. Ow! 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 You can see that's hurting me. So I can go and use that heal. See how big that heal was? Isn't that cool? Oh. I ran too far, so he's resetting now. But you can see, I was able to actually do quite a bit of damage there. I didn't really take too much damage. I was able to stay mobile, and it was really great. And there's this freeze. That's probably one of the things I should have done before. It'll actually freeze them. So when I did this group, if I did this originally, um, that would have been probably a smarter idea. Uh, let's just say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in trouble. So the void slip, boom, there you go. You're already reset, you're in a different dimension basically, and you go here and they're just sitting like normal. They don't even know I exist at this point. So that's uh, another way to get out of trouble. And I mean, you can see these guys are really easy that you don't even really have to get out of them. But, you know, overall, um, I can easily take mobs my level. I've even been able to take bosses my level. Um, you know, it requires a lot of dodge, a lot of patience, a lot of, you know, smart things like snaring and stuff like that. But, uh, overall, yeah, it's a really great class, and it's more powerful than I expected. And don't forget, also, you, on top of, okay, let's, let's do the freeze here, like we were gonna do before. 
Oh, here we go. Boom. There you go. Look at that. So it's just, you know, using things to your, uh, you know, being smart to use things. And uh, don't forget, you still have uh, this one here, the leap one. Just the stunning one. And the stunned ones are pretty important. There you go. So, you know, even with crappy damage or whatever, you can still pretty do pretty do pretty good. Don't forget to check the auction house. Um, if you're not doing too good, or maybe you just want a good upgrade, you haven't been lucky getting weapons, always check out the auction house. You can see I just bought this blue one. I think this cost me a gold and 50 silver. A little expensive with some, but it's a level 17. I'm level 16. Once I'm 17, that'll probably last me at least till 20 or so. Uh, maybe even further, right? And it even has an open slot. I didn't realize that. That's the runes you can put in there. So if you've been paying attention and doing all the missions in the city, one of them teaches you how to create runes. If you don't, you should pretty much go back to Thyad and do all the missions in here and learn them. And at the same time, you remember you guys did Celestian? Uh, this tells you basically your task and your completion. So I've never been there, so mine's only 0%. But... Uh, I was in Allegrock. That was my starting zone. And you can see I've done 87% of it. It isn't a shameful thing or bad thing to go back and do some of these missions. You know, maybe if you're missing some episode missions or, you know, soldiers, my, uh, you know, path, your path, you can go back. Maybe, you know, learn to fight things, even if you're a little overpowered and just, you know, it's, this game's not always about, oh, I, I must get to the max level right now. Because if you're playing that way, you're playing to lose, honestly. You're supposed to enjoy the game, take your time, farm, things like that. I've been mining quite a bit. Um, you know, I'm going to go over here and mine this again. This is the kind of things I like doing. But, uh, yeah, take your time, enjoy it, have fun. And hopefully this little guide helps you, Jinky. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully you get more luck.